Hi guys, hope you're having a good day. I uh, just wanted to let you know that I have opened up the next two units for you. Um, so we're just gonna quickly go through what those look like and what you should be doing um, and how to work on them. Also, yay, a snow day. So I am in my pajamas still after shoveling five feet of snow. Okay, here we go. So first thing we're gonna do is go to unit two, which is our short stories unit. Um, in this unit, you will find a folder that tells you everything that makes up a short story. So there's stuff about plot, tone, conflict, uh, literary devices, all of that. So if you feel like you need a refresher, go to that folder. Once you've done that, you'll find each of our little learning modules here that have all of the different stories. So they're all set up very similarly. similarly. So if you go to the first one here, you'll find information about the author, and then you'll have the next thing will be a pre-reading activity. So every short story will have a pre-reading activity because we want to warm up our brains. Reading is similar to doing exercise in that before you do some exercise, you want to get out there, um, maybe go for a quick jog, do some stretches, make sure your body's ready for the activity you're going to compete or complete. Um, the same thing with reading. You want your brain to be warmed up. You want to access the pr prior knowledge that you have. Um, so that you're ready to read it. So each assignment will have this pre-reading activity. So just make sure you look at that. Then you'll go to the next page where you'll be able to find your short story. If you click on this link, uh, it'll take you to the story so that we're not breaking copyright. There may be another link, but this one tells you how to not break copyright. And then finally, you'll have an assignment that goes with it. You'll just upload it to there and it is quite easy for you to do. One short story that I want to talk about really quickly, um, we will get to on Thursday, although I feel like you should maybe read it today. It's very apropos for the blizzard we just lived through. Um, this one, the painted door assignment. So again, we've got our author information, our pre-reading information, the story with a reading guide. Um, but then we get to this part where you're getting ready for our ultra meeting. So this story is super interesting, love talking about it. So we are going to get the opportunity to do that and you need to be able to prepare yourself for our ultra meeting. So all of this is what you need to do to prepare, to get ready for our live session, which will happen on Friday, okay? Um, and then this is what the thing we're gonna be working on during the breakout. And then again, you'll end with the uh, question assignments. So don't work ahead, don't work on this one beforehand because you are expected to make reference to some of the stuff that you talk about in the ultra meeting. Unit three right here is our speaking activities and it's set up the same way. Um, we have a business meeting, a panel presentation, and then a photo essay. So you can work on those whenever you kind of want to. Um, you can do it in the background of what we're working on prior to this. So you can do it in the background of our short stories. Um, I forget what I was gonna say. So yeah, those are the things that you need to be working on right now. Um, I've also uploaded a calendar, that's what I was going to say, that gives you guys a timeline of what you should be working on um, on each day. Our next ultra meeting is Friday the 13th from 2.30 to 3.30. And then you'll also notice that we have another one on the 17th to talk about this literary critique assignment. So that's really important that you guys are there. So you have the things that you need to be working on. Again, if you need to get a hold of me, you can just um, send me an email. I'm not in the office today because it is a snow day. Um, I also have five feet of snow around my truck, so I'm not sure if I'll get there tomorrow. But if you need anything, send me an email. I'll be able to get a hold of you. Okay, thanks.